Hello everyone and welcome back to a short EP review and in this video I'm going to review a short disaster by see you space cowboy and if I die first. This EP right here is a split including one collaborative track between see you space cowboy and if I die first. Now this is once again another occasion where we're talking about two bands that go into styles of music that I do not have that much of an experience with. Like back in the day I would not usually listen to metalcore and post-hardcore stuff. Like I'm not that kid that grew up with this kind of music. But See You Space Cowboy is a fairly recent band that also combines elements of mathcore and honestly I've ended up enjoying some of the stuff that they've put out over the years. It's not like they're doing something that different to the genre but what they do is really well executed and it's really well done. I really like the performances, the production is super good, there are some really sick breakdowns. Performance wise and musically wise, See You Space Cowboy is a band that they've actually ended up really enjoying. If A Day First on the other hand is an extremely recent project that were mostly known for an EP that they did the previous year and I wasn't really aware of them before so this was my introduction to the band. Now in comparison to See You Space Cowboy, If A Day First go into some more clean approaches when it comes to the vocals and having some more emo core and screamo moments which are not that much of my style, I was never really into this kind of music but I feel that what if I they first offer with this EP is actually pretty solid. I wouldn't say that their side is better compared to the one from See You Space Cowboy like the track Mirror Mirror This Is Nothing Like You Promised is possibly my least favorite moment out of the album. It had elements with its sound and with its performances that I didn't really enjoy as much compared to some other moments. On the other hand the next track My Nightmares Would Do Numbers As Horror Movies was actually pretty decent. I like the instrumental, it is a really melodic track, it has a really interesting introduction and a really nice feel overall. This was a track that ended up being somewhat interesting for me. However, the side of CG Space Cowboy has many of the elements that I really like from their sound, but it's really apparent that they've actually gone into a bit of a different direction over here, like even CG Space Cowboy feel like they incorporate more clean vocals into the mix and going into some more melodic passages, something that was obviously apparent with previous releases, but it's not like always aggressive and it's not as much of a math core mess compared to previous projects. Now I think that this still makes for some pretty great results. The track painting a clear picture from an unreliable narrator is definitely one of the greatest moments over here. Really like the whole structure, the performances are excellent, really solid production and some really cool and kick ass breakdowns. The next track on the other hand I feel that it has some pretty decent ideas but it was a pretty short track and I feel that there could have been something a bit more to it. But then we also have the collaborative track towards the middle of this release Bloodstained Eyes which is a really strong collaboration because I feel that there is a great chemistry in this song. The performances from both bands makes for a really nice result over here and we're talking about the Masterous track. This goes for 5 minutes and there is so much going on to it and overall it has solid structures and both of them in my opinion have some solid performances and it makes for a really strong moment for the CP. Now even if this is an EP and we're talking about a pretty short release for the most part with only 5 songs, I think that this is a fulfilling release. Both bands in my opinion managed to show their capabilities and it's definitely not a release that I'm crazy about but for what it does and considering that I don't really have that much of an experience with this type of genre, I think that the results were pretty solid and I was pretty satisfied with its release. Now one quick thing I want to mention, I personally suggest you to go and listen to this release on Bandcamp because when it comes to Spotify, I feel that they messed up this release really bad. Like you go into the CU Space Cowboy Spotify and you have the first three tracks. You have the two tracks from the CU Space Cowboy side and you also have the collab song. If you want to listen to the two final tracks that are from the If I Die First side, then you have to go into the If I Die First Spotify page, which it's an unnecessary mess. I don't really see why that was the case. Obviously it would not be a deal if you end up 
putting some of the songs in your liked songs or in a playlist, but in terms of just a more fulfilling experience, I suggest you to listen to the entirety on Bandcamp. Also, one final weird thing about this release is that three of the tracks of this EP were actually teased before the release of this entire project and we're only left with other two songs and more than half of the EP was already released. I obviously do not have an issue with it, I just found it a bit weird that I wanted to mention it, that's all. Now, with that being said, like I said, a short disaster in my opinion, pretty cool EP, really badass and nice chemistry between the two bands coming together. I'm going to give a short disaster a 7 out of 10. What's your opinion on this EP? Like it? Dislike it? Why? And what do you want me to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.